looks like Coach Ali has been able to, to rejoin us. So, Coach, uh, appreciate you taking the time. Sorry for the connection issues there. Uh, I will turn yeah, no problem. to you kind of talk about the, uh, the last month for the Huskies and, and really what you're most looking forward to seeing from your team the last four weeks of the regular season. Yeah, just more consistency um, on the offense and defensive end, sharing the basketball and just playing UConn type of ball. We just got to play with toughness and uh, rebound the ball a little bit better and and just play with one another. And uh, that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to come in every day and practice and uh, try to find better rhythm and uh, just continue to uh, forge ahead and stay fo- faithful and focus on what we need to do. And first of all, we need to be a better teammate, take care of one another, um, on a defensive end and an offensive end and share the basketball and play better defense. So I imagine every coach is saying that, um, and we have to continue to do it and find consistency um, and get on a little streak here. So I'm looking forward to that. Thanks, Coach. And, and now we'll, we'll go ahead and turn it over to uh, any media members who, who have questions for UConn head coach Kevin Ollie. If you would like to ask a question, please press star 1 on your telephone keypad. If you're using a speakerphone, please make sure your mute function is turned off to allow your signal to reach our equipment. Again, press star 1 to ask a question. We'll pause for just a moment to allow everybody an opportunity to signal for questions. And we'll take our first question from David Borges from New Haven Register. Please go ahead. Hey, Kevin. Uh, with South Florida hey, coming just wanted to ask you about uh, how, how good it will be to see Terrence Samuel again and just thinking back to what, what kind of a role he played for you guys in your championship run a few years ago. Oh, he played an important role um, in our championship. Um, that Villanova game, the one that really sticks out for me, he went 7 for 8 on the free throw line and played 21 minutes, and that was a big-time opponent for us. I think they was um, – um, uh, number two seed in um, the Iowa State. He came back and played a wonderful game in Madison Square Garden. And he gave us an opportunity to uh, rest Shabazz and Boat, um, and he just played great defense throughout the tournament. So I look forward to seeing him again, giving him a big old hug. you expect the crowd to give him a nice ovation uh, on Wednesday? Yeah, I hope so. Um, I hope so. Uh, he did a lot for us and did a lot for the program, and um, I know the fans – I'm uh, going to wish him the best of luck, but hopefully he don't have too good a game against us. Thank you. You're welcome, Dad. And we'll take our next question from Paul Solentrop from Wichita State Strategics Communications. Hey, Kevin, could you uh, talk a little bit about your views on the uh, the immediate eligibility uh, proposals for transfers that are bouncing around out there, please? Yeah, it's bouncing around out there. Um, you know, we, we kind of know the ins and outs of it, but I think it's still going back and forth with GPA and certain different things. But, um, you know, it's it's going to be a tough situation, but we're going to have to adapt with any proposals that the NCAA thinks is going to be best for our student athletes. And that's what we've been doing. Um, a lot of the NCAA legislations has changed throughout the years, and we have to – you know, have to um, adjust, you know, if that's adjusting recruiting um, and just making sure everybody by, abide by the rules uh, that the NCAA has set forth. So um, we, we're seeing if it's going to be a difference, if it's going to change, but if not, we're going to have to adjust if they do change it. Um, the difficult thing is, is you know, your team, you don't, you, you're not going to know what your team is going to be like from year to year um, if everybody can just transfer, but hopefully the stipulations are there. Um, where it makes it a little bit more difficult. But uh, at the same token, um, you want players that want to be at your program. And if that's the case, um, it should not be a big problem. Thank you. You're welcome. As a reminder, it is star one to ask a question. We'll take our next question from Russ Wood from runningthebulls.com. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Your line is open. Good morning, Coach. How are you today? I'm doing great. Uh, as, it, as it, South Florida is shooting almost 36% beyond the arc, what makes them difficult to defend on the perimeter? Um, I mean, they, they move the ball very, very well. They're confident. Um, you know, it's a lot of different things that they do well, and we're really locking in on that. 
um, uh, Gickets has really given them a, a, a nice touch from the outside. He had a wonderful game against Tulsa. Um, and they they playing good basketball. They're sharing it. Um, and we got to get back and make sure we play solid defense. But, you know, our offense really dictates that we got to shoot um, a high percentage from the field goal from the from the um, field goal percentage. Uh, we got to get to the free throw line. We got an offensive rebound, and we can't have live turnovers. And that's where some of our consistencies has been our inconsistencies been coming from. Uh, we've been struggling um, uh, shooting from the outside, making shots, and we have to get on the backboard um, and we have to slow the game down, and we can't have a lot of turnovers. But if you have those turnovers. It leads back to transition um, breakdowns and transition defense, and now you allow their shooters to get to get going. So we're gonna have to do a real good job. Terrence Samuels, uh, Gigits, uh, we're gonna have to really keep it, keep it, do a good job keeping them in front of us and uh, playing solid basketball. But they're doing a good job. They're shooting the ball well, and you know we need to not have them shoot 36, 37, 38 percent from the three point line because it'd be a long night for us.